A warm welcome to our session. I am here with the 10th video of Ecoscapes, The Inheritors of Earth, Bhoomida Avagashikal, which was written by Vaikyam Muhammad Bashir, Chapter 2 of Unit 2, Biodiversity. Before discussing the chapter in detail, let us look at the biography of our writer. Vaikyam Muhammad Bashir, also known as Beipu Sultan, was an Indian independence activist and writer of Malayalam literature. He was a writer, humanist, freedom fighter, novelist and short story writer, noted for his path-breaking down to earth style of writing that made him equally popular among the literary critics as well as the common man. His notable works include Balyagala Sagi, Shabdangal, Pathumayde Aad, Madhiligal, Indu Poopakur Ani Indarno, Jan Madhinam and Anarkha Nimisha. And also the translation of his works into other languages have earned him worldwide acclaim. The Government of India awarded him the 4th highest civilian honour of Padma Shri in 1982. He was also a recipient of Sahitya Academy Fellowship, Kerala Sahitya Academy Fellowship and the Kerala State Film Award for Best Story. We have a great deal of Priyangaran Aitala Edithukaran and Vaikya Muhammad Bashir. He is a Malayalam novelist, Kadagrutham, Swadhandra Samara Porali Mayarno, Bepur Sultan and Arya Petrana, Vaikya Muhammad Bashir. Ayrathi Tolayati eta, January Iribati on the Taleola Parambile, Vikim Jil, Vikim Cotton Jilay Lana de Hem Jenikin other, Marana Ped another, Ayrathi Tolayati Tonutinala, Julia and Chinana. Ayrathi Tolayati Enbathi Rendel, India Government, Adhete Patna Sri Briskar and Nalgi Adrichu. Ayrathi Tolayati Edwazil, Kendra Sahi Academy Fellowship and Nalgi. E two Madhikam Vikipeta Edithagar and Ural and the Madhikam Vishishi Pikapetu. Jenegi and Aya, Eir Priyangar and Aya, Edithagar and Eda Bashir, Samanya Maita, Malayalam Bashi area on the Arkum Bashir Sahitya Madam. While I recurrach Matra meditatum, Bashirianism, Alangalanda, Bashir Sahitya Manada, Malayalatal Uri Sahitya Shagi, Mari Eduadundana, Adhethe de Jeevida and Pungal de Karitu and Dirano. Hasim Gunda, Adhem Vayana Karachi, Pitch, Kuda, the Kariki and Jido. Samohat in the Adithetal Jeevik in the Manishiri de Kadagal, Adhem Paranapol. Adi Jeeva Sutadai Kana di Varti, Jail Puligalum, Bixakarum, Patanikarum, Savarga Nuragulum, Naranya would a fantasy air in the Bashir in the logum. Itheran Kadabatrangal de Chindagalco, Vigarangalco, Aduverilla Sahitil Stanam and Dairanilla. Samuhitin and Erila, Vimarshan and Naranja Chodingal Ella, Adeham Hasitilipiju in the Venangal Namakaparia. The rightful inheritors of the earth is a short narrative in which the author talks about the need to consider other animals also as a part of the earth. That means as they are the rightful inheritors of the earth. Then the narrative progresses through a situation. The situation faced by the narrator and also his wife after they started living in that new house and that new land. The problem encountered by them was their coconuts were eaten by some animals. And later they identified that bats are the real culprits. Narrator's wife, with the help of her cousin, thought of killing these bats. But they identified that the bats came from the Adobai temple. Sorry, Niyabai temple. They went to kill the bat using a gun, but they were chased by the local people, as it is believed that bats are the souls of their forefathers. The story concludes with the narrator saying that although bats cannot be considered as the reincarnation of our forefathers, but they definitely have a right to reside on this earth. The words of the author may remind us of an old age, old ancient concept, which means that Vasudeva Kudumbagam. Vasudha means being the earth, Vasudha being the earth. And Kudumbagam means family. In other words, the whole meaning is that the whole world is a family, including the animals. Vaikya Muhammad Bashir in the precious Tamaya Kadagalilanana Bhumi de Avagashigal. Sagala Jeevigal Kam Bhumi Lodi Avagasha Mana Lada. Enna Ura Ashe Mana, E Kadi Lode Adeham, Valar Sarasamaya Vadari Pikinada. Manishan Bhumi de Mila Digara Munda, Alagi Manisha Rana Bhumi de Adiban, Enna Mithya Daraneda Porta, Manisha de Skati Kuda, the Manisha de Chayina Uru Pravartical Od Mulla, Bashir in the Nira Samana, E Kadil Namaka, Kanavana de Sadikinada. Bhumi de Avagashigal and the Kadede, Uru. Summer Baraya, Grande Ker Thing in Burma, Adiludi Vedam Sonda Maki, Kadana Eget, Tenga Vilpeni Lude, Sampathika Badradim, Muluveli Lude, Elangalidim Begate in Dame, Shan and the Ushidan Nai Dame Pinbalatil, Surekshidata, Urapichirik in the Vale, 
അദ്ദേഹത്തിനെ അമ്പരിപ്പിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് മുദ്രപത്രങ്ങളിൽ ഒന്നും ഒപ്പുവെക്കാത്തവരും മുള്ളുവേലികളെ മാനിക്കാത്തവരുമായ ഒരു കൂട്ടർ അധികാരത്തോടെ കടന്നു വരുന്നതാണ് കഥയുടെ തുടക്കം ക്ഷണിക്കപ്പെടാതെ ആകതരാവുന്ന പക്ഷികളും ചിത്രശലഭങ്ങളും തുടങ്ങി ചിതലുകളും എലികളും കൊടിയ വിഷമുള്ള കരിം തേളുകളും അടങ്ങിയ ഇക്കൂട്ടർ യാഥാർത്ഥ്യത്തിൽ ഭൂമിയുടെ അവകാശികൾ തന്നെയാണ് എന്ന് അദ്ദേഹത്തിന് ബോധ്യമാവുന്നതാണ് കഥാസാര ആദർശവാദിയായ കഥാനായകനും പ്രായോഗിക ചിന്താഗതിക്കാരിയുമായ അദ്ദേഹത്തിന്റെ ഭാര്യയും തമ്മിലുള്ള വാദപ്രതിവാദങ്ങളും നിരായുധനായിരിക്കുന്ന മനുഷ്യന്റെ നിസ്സഹായതയെ കുറിച്ചുള്ള പരാമർശങ്ങളുമൊക്കെ ഈ കഥയെ നമുക്ക് കൂടുതൽ ഹൃദ്യമാക്കുന്നു സർവചരാചരങ്ങളോടുള്ള വാത്സല്യവും കഥയുടെ ഒരു മുക്കിലും മൂലയിലും നിറഞ്ഞു നിൽക്കുന്നുണ്ട് ഇപ്പൊ നമ്മൾ കേട്ടതിന് സമ്മറി എന്ന് പറയാൻ പറ്റില്ല കാര്യം അത്രയും ക്യാപ്സ്യൂൾ ഫോം ആണ് വളരെ ചുരുങ്ങിയ രീതിയിലാണ് ഞാൻ പറഞ്ഞത് ഇത്രയും ചുരുക്കാനുള്ള കാരണം ഞാൻ ഉടൻ തന്നെ ഇതിന്റെ മലയാളം കഥ അതുപോലെ പറഞ്ഞ് റെക്കോർഡ് ചെയ്ത് അപ്ലോഡ് ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ട് അതിൽ നിറയെ ദ ഹോൾ സ്റ്റോറി ഇൻ മലയാളം ആൻഡ് അപ്ലോഡ് ഇല്ലേറ്റ് ഓക്